They're talking about the big band show down there. I think he said, I don't know about the boat ramp fail channel, but I know there's something called Wavy Boat. And she said, yeah, he's like him, but he films the boat ramps around here. That's me, guys. That's me, the Big Dan Show. Welcome. You're watching the Big Dan Show. <laughs> Why are my lights on in my car? Sorry about that guys, I was adjusting the focus and trying to get a preset for the focus today. I'm shooting with the Sony a6700, uh, sometimes I shoot with the Sony AX700, so the 6700 is like a mirrorless camera, like a, it's like a DSLR style, so it's a little different than uh, a typical camcorder, but we got some swells coming through here today, the boat ran up in here. creating some wake oh boys what's going on over here in lane one and three Is it, they got the okay Check this thing out, the old Zodiac. Oh gosh, what's it? Oh, he just slams her right into the dock. Oh, boys. Reverse, reverse. He just... Golly, boys. It's low tide. He's going to blow the thing out with barnacle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Pop that, or if it could. But look at that. That's like an inflatable rib. Big Dan. Yeah. What's going on? Enjoy watching. I appreciate it. How was it out there? Cool. Yeah, it's a little chilly. I bet it's, it's I bet it's got a little bite under that wind. Hey, when the sun's out, it feels great. I know that's right. And yeah, we found us, y'all she filming us just coming through one day, and we've been a fan ever since. I appreciate it. Hear it. Hey, look, if you enjoy the show, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I had somebody on here last night that was giving me all kinds of problems. Bickering and complaining because they were on the channel. They was being filmed without their consent. Listen, first of all, there's no consent to give when you're in a public space. He's like, yeah, but you were making comments about me without my approval and without me knowing. Brother, now you know. <laughs> He's like, I'm so glad somebody sent me this video. Oh, yeah, I am too. Welcome to the Big Dan Show. So, hey, we're here for uh, just to have fun, straight up. Like, people are learning a lot of things here. People are learning a lot of things. New boaters are learning things. Experienced boaters are learning things. I'm learning things. We're having fun. We're providing a little bit of an entertainment, a laugh. And uh, we're just hanging out, having fun. It's, it's, it's about the entertainment and uh, passing along the info and just sharing a laugh here in the boating community. So... going on down over there Yee
I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, back there behind him. Let's see what the world is going on. We got a freaking cowboy. What's going on over here, lane three? What's going on? They just backed down. I'm guessing the boat was not centered on the trailer because if that's the case, it's definitely not on there properly now. I mean, I thought it looked good when they backed down, but again, I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't know if they're backing down. Okay, they're launching. Oh, okay, 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 I got it. So what happened was uh, the, the pressure in the bow stop was so tight she couldn't get the uh, strap off, or he couldn't, whoever that is up there can't see. He couldn't get the uh, lock off the, the winch until he had to put some throttle on it. Get the pressure off that handle so they can disengage the safety. Okay, what the heck is going on over here in Layden 8 and 9? Boys in the jet boat. Oh, man. I got to give them a shout out. They told all the people to check out the big... <laughs> I love it. I missed the shot, but that's totally cool. <laughs> hey, if y'all are in Orange Beach, check them out. <laughs> the sunny lady the freaking best dolphin cruise in Orange Beach Gulf Shores area hands down y'all go book with them and y'all come in town check them out What's going on down there? She gonna ride it on out. That dude right there is Bill. What, what, what? I don't understand what that moves what that moves about they get right up on the guides they're on the trailer and they toss a dock line out to somebody what is what is with that move you gonna tie it off to a cleat now on the dock what boys put the dock line in one of the hatches oh he's going off the stern now Okay. I see what they're doing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Pontoon captain. Coming in hot. Uh oh. Uh oh. And he goes to a screeching halt. Nice little regulator there. All right, I'm gonna go get the truck. Ooh, check out the invincible. Is that gunmetal gray? Meanwhile, 
the ones that were on the trailer first are out of the water last. On tune, Captain. In too deep with the truck. He's in too deep, boys. This is going to be it. This is going to be a good one. That's a sweet Blazer Bay. Got the Blazer Bay with the twin power poles. Mercury 350 on it. That is one slick unit, boys. Check it out. Ooh, pretty cool. All right, pontoon captain here. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. He's in too deep from the jump. It's going to be interesting, guys. It is going to be interesting. I need you right now. Oh, boy. He's like, come on, man. He's, he's talking to this guy that's 60 feet away. Brother, you might want to worry about the dang world gap behind you. Brother, you have a 60-yard hole. Get, let's go. He's <laughs> worried about this guy. No, what the problem is, is when they start worrying about other people, they're thinking, do I got to go trailer this thing already? That's what they're thinking. All right, guys, we got a double happening right here. The pontoon in too deep with the World Cat. No, not the World Cat, the freaking regulator. I'm looking at a World Cat while I'm shooting this. So check out the regulator, lane one. He's gonna nail it. I can tell by the way he's got his trailer in. He's got the experience. Meanwhile, our captain right here on lane four is going to have some difficulties here. Uh, he's in too deep, and he's got fenders out all over the place. All over the place. He's got his little fenders out. We're going into panic mode right now. All right, just listen up. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't know if that was one of the fenders being ripped off. Did y'all hear that? The heck was that noise? Oh my gosh, they're in deep. I was fixing to say I know they ain't gonna stay like that. He had to be just wet in the freaking bunks. He had to be just wet in the bunks. Lane seven. Tundra. Oh my gosh, they're he's still in pretty deep. I don't know. All right, lane seven. Right up in there. The smaller boats, they're easy, man. Let's check our guy out right here in lane six. Come on, Cap. Come on, Cap. Uh-oh, I see a contender. I spy a contender. I spy a contender. Looks like a 31. I don't know. Let's hang on over here on lane 6. <clears throat> I am a fan of big center consoles. That's my thing. I am a center console guy. So, yep, it's a contender. Looks like a 31 or, a, yeah, 31 probably.
Nice boat. What are they doing? Are they rocking that thing? What are they rocking it for? They're in lane seven rocking, but what what are they doing? They don't need to add any extra swells for my guy right here on lane six. He just had to reset. All right, check him out. Lane six. Oh, he's got it this time. Nails it. What are we doing over here on seven, boys? Okay, is there something that I'm missing? He's backing out for a reset. Maybe we're just practicing. Oh, boys. Oh, and our friends over here on lane seven are gonna hop back in together. Oh dang, the freaking uh, the bunk flipped up to the right. I did that one time on my boat and it just destroyed the gel coat. Got about an eighth inch scratch, about 16 inches long on the bottom of my hole. <clears throat> it was the uh, port side flipped over that bottom bunk and caused a lot of damage. I ended up repairing it myself, but I got a quote from a guy. It was 1,200 bucks to fix it. He wanted to put it on a, uh, he wanted me to dry dock it for a day. For a day. So that would have cost me even more. But yeah, these, these boats are not cheap, folks. Whenever you're talking about fiberglass repair work and gel coat and all that stuff, whew, it can get pricey. Especially if you're in a boat that's hard to color match. Like mine, I've got an older boat, it's a 09. And so that 09, the, uh, I think it's Stars and Stripes Blue is what they call it. It's not the same blue as it was in 09 as it is now from the factory. Like you can order the same gel coat, colored gel coat, but it's truthfully not the same. It's gonna look just a little different. In, two, deep. Are we just practicing? Are we practicing? What? Brother, you're not, you're in too deep. You're in the bow stop, but you're floating around on the, you're literally floating on the trailer. Meanwhile, we'll just pan on over here to lane four at the same time. It's like we're gonna be blessed with another double. They got it on. Oh, what's that guy? Look at him. Oh, my. Not a safe spot to be riding. Oh, my gosh, boys. The pro line. They're back in the pro line. Okay. We saw this crew. Oh, my gosh, boys. They're back in the pro line. We saw this crew last week. And my guy slammed in the dock. He had whiskey throttle going backwards. Too much happening at once. Almost slammed into a pontoon boat. 
Oh my gosh, I get nervous for them whenever they come in. Oh gosh, oh gosh, boys. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, this ain't good. Oh my goodness, that could have been bad. Bam, right off the dock. Oh, golly, guys. Already knowing that we've got a poten potential candidate for the channel. Hit it. There's something special about a very, very white, crisp, clean, new boat. Just gosh they're just beautiful I don't care what kind it is you just got that fresh gel coat it's just something just you gotta love it hey we want to be on your video you're on there I was just bragging on how white that boat is. <laughs>